NASA called Kepler dead in 2013. Guess what it discovered next? NASA thought its planet Hunter had died in 2013. Kepler had lost two of its four reaction wheels, the gyroscopes that let it stare at one star for months, and the one billion pixel telescope tumbled uselessly in interplanetary darkness. Ball aerospace engineer Charlie Sobeck refused to pull the plug. Studying telemetry, he noticed the craft drifted steadily in one direction, the gentle shove of sunlight. What if that nuisance became a rudder? Sopek's team rotated Kepler so the solar pressure pushed symmetrically against its back, then used the two surviving wheels to balance side to side. After weeks of simulations and white-knuckle commands, the telescope locked onto a test star, and stayed there. Kepler, reborn as Mission K2, could now scan strips of sky along the ecliptic for 80-day stretches. The fix came with quirks, thrusters had to fire every six hours to keep roll steady, and the view had to jump every campaign. But the resurrected telescope soon bagged its first new world, HIP 116454b, and went on to log more than two 700 exoplanet discoveries before fuel ran out in 2018. Engineers had turned a dead satellite into a sun-sailing observatory, proving that sometimes the smallest force in space gives a mission its second light.